Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Red Gaming Tech video. My name is Amato and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to get stuck right in as we have a ton of AMD news to discuss as we have some very interesting leaks thanks to Enthusiastic Citizen over on Chip Hill. Now, this name should be fairly familiar to you at this point. This person has been very active in the leaker scene and they've also been very credible with their leaks in the past. But as with any room, I'll take it with the usual pinch of salt TM. Now, I'm just going to go through what they posted and then I'm going to break it down a bit because there's quite a bit to get into here. So the first thing is Renoir X, which they say is cordless display AM4, roughly the same specs as Ryzen 4000G. There may not be R7 and it used to correspond to Intel R3, but unfortunately the time to market is unknown. Then we see Vermeer. S, AM4, Zen 3D cache, and then the real money shot is Q2 to the beginning of Q3 next year, we'll see Raphael AM5, which of course is a new Zen 4 architecture, and going to be seeing it launched alongside the X670, the B650 will be launched a month, month later, excuse me, and will support PCIe 5. So let's delve into that a little bit, shall we? First of all, Renoir X. Now these are apparently going to be based on the Zen 2, and yes, that isn't me misspeaking, Zen 2 core architecture, and will feature the same specifications as the Ryzen 4000G APUs, but as you probably gathered from enthusiasts post there's not going to be any igpu on this particular chip but it said that renoir x desktop will not have any integrated graphics which of course means there aren't apus there will still be monolithic designs and obviously they will be differentiated from vanilla renoir with that x nomenclature at the end as for where this is actually going to fit into the market well apparently it is going to be taking on the i3 older lake which also are those lacking that hybrid architecture and only have up to four Golden Cove cores. So obviously AMD are not keen to just let Intel kind of have the run of the place. They obviously want to try and tackle what they're doing with Older Lake. And I've said this a billion times, as much as the flagship is obviously really exciting and important, a lot of people go for the mid to lower end range of these processes because while they're much more affordable, so obviously AMD wants to have something to counter the i3 of Older Lake. So let's move on to Vermeer S. Now, as this name very much implies, it is going to have the same Zen 3 core architecture, but it is going to have some optimizations on that 7nm node. But the main difference is as the post it also said that 3d stacked chiplet design which obviously has been sounding really really interesting ever since amd kind of unveiled what zen 3d is capable of at computex now we will be getting a unveiling of the vermeer s line of chips at ces next year followed by a launch in q1 of 2022 and as you might expect because they are zen 3 based we are going to see them be compatible with the existing am4 platform but again the really exciting thing I think most of you are interested in here is the Zen 4 information again based on that brand new 5nm Zen 4 core and they are expected to be introduced on the, in the second half of 2022. Now the new details for this one are mostly to do with the platforms the X670 and B650 and they are going to be offering as I already said PCIe and DDDR5 support. Now unfortunately DDDR4 will not be featured on these platforms due to incompatibility with these processes which is going to be a bit of an ouch in terms of cost. Still I think we can all agree that Zen 4 is really really interesting. However before we move on from AMD we do have a tweet from Momomo over on you guessed it Twitter and the tweet simply reads Ryzen Threadripper 5970X 32 core 64 threads 3.8 slash 4.7 gigahertz and this was responded to by Grayman simply with a kiss emoji make of that what you will but I think it's interesting that we're seeing Ryzen 5000 Threadrippers pop up all of a sudden because obviously Threadripper has been mysteriously absent from the Zen 3 line of processors and there's even talk that it was cancelled perhaps AMD have decided to resurrect it or it was never cancelled in the first place it's really tough to know with rumours and whatnot but I would really hope to see Threadripper come back because you know Threadripper is interesting it's exciting and AMD were doing some cool things with the HEDT market obviously we very well could not see it at CES and it could very well not exist but still interesting to see it pop up its head once more but we've done with AMD now we're going to move on to Nvidia their arch nemesis as we have a very interesting report on the Nvidia RTX 3050 now you may have seen the report by videocards.com during the rounds that we would see a RTX 3050 with a GA106 
GPU at the core. And at the time of reporting, it was stated that we would be seeing the 3050 RTX card launch in the second quarter of next year without any specific date mentioned. But there has been a very interesting tweet to change this now from Hongxing2020. And they are a relatively new person on the GPU leak scene. However, they did say that we would see the RTX 3050 8GB on the 27th of the 1st, 2022 on shelf, which obviously means that according to their information, it is going to be launching on January the 27th, definitely sooner than initially reported. Obviously, this date is yet to be confirmed, but still very, very interesting. Now, just to kind of back this up a little bit, we have heard from our sources that the information for the RTX 3050 is true, where was, that was previously reported by video cards, so keep an eye out for this one, guys. Obviously, as always with anything, rumors, etc., pitch of salt TM could always be cancelled at the last minute or inaccurate information or a billion other things, but we have been hearing at least that it is true. And on that note, we are still hearing that the 3090 Ti, which is the GPU, we've talked about quite a few times now on this channel and a few other things that we've already mentioned are still kind of changing the release dates are changing the plans for them are changing we might see the 3090 ti at ces but it may not be in volume until q2 of next year and obviously ces is in january so if these reports are true everything is just kind of too all over the place at the moment to really call cool, and at least according to our sources but obviously pinch of salt tm and i've said that like a billion times but i just want to be super clear that obviously things are very much up for change at the moment and to finish up today's proceedings, we have another tweet from Momo, which leaked the existence of several MSI gaming laptops, which themselves confirm the existing of GN20-E6 and GN20-E8 GPUs, which refer to the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti and RTX 3070 Ti laptop GPUs, which of course we have leaked pretty much 1 billion times at this point. Now, unsurprisingly, these laptops are far from cheap given that they feature older lake processors we have the 12900k and 12700h processors so you are looking at a pretty damn pretty penny for the 3070 ti max q variant we see 22,691 euros and for the 1200hk and the 3080 ti you're looking at 4768 euros ouch but still confirms the existence of these laptop gpus which we have been leaking for some time so guys that is me done for this video thank you so much for watching as always your support is hugely appreciated do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already it's just about a great deal and i'll see you next time Bye bye